Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing an updated version of the All Flicks in Rocket League tutorial. I just wanted to get a new one out because the last one wasn't really up to the quality that I'd expect. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to add, this will not include a few different freestyle flicks that are incredibly hard to pull off and require incredible mechanics. I will show an example of these now. going to start off with the more basic flicks so we're going to start with the front flip flick so to do this you want to have the ball on your car and just front flip with all of these you're going to want to have a, a decent understanding of dribbling and you're going to want to make sure that when you're doing the flicks just around the back wheels of your car are outside of the ball indicator circle so with the front flip flick you're going to want to have the ball on the front of your car and just front flip it's a very useful flick especially for lower ranks, but it's useful even through the higher ranks. The next one's going to be the diagonal flip flick. So to do this, you do the same thing, have the ball in the same position on your car and just diagonal flip instead of front flip. You can do this both left and right. And again, it's a very useful flick. The next flick is going to be the side flip flick. So in order to do the side flip flick, you're gonna to wanna to have the ball a slightly further up on your car and side flip. So again, you wanna have the back wheels just very slightly out of the circle, but not quite as much as if you're doing a front flip or diagonal flip flick. Next up is gonna be the back flip flick. So to do the back flip flick, there's a few different ways to do this. You can have a forward momentum back flip flick like that where you have the ball further forward on your car uh, you can have it slightly further back on your car to do a more vertical flick so it gains more height and also you can have it all the way to the back of your car to actually push the ball in the backwards direction uh, this one is a little bit more difficult to get down sometimes that happens where the ball just pops up off of your car uh, to ensure that it doesn't happen, make sure the ball is rolling on your car, with your car, and not bouncing at all. So you'll be able to tell when this is happening if the sparks are coming off the back of your car. If there's no sparks, you should be able to flip properly. Next we'll move on to the slightly more advanced flicks. So this is going to be the 45 degree flick, the 90 degree flick, and the 180 degree flick. So we'll start off with the 45 degree flick. To do the 45 degree flick, you're going to want to have the ball on top of your car. When you jump, you turn your car 45 degrees to the right or to the left. Once you've done this, you're going to want to either air roll slightly left if you're turning right and right if you're turning left. And then you want to backwards diagonal flip in the opposite direction. To show you what that looks like, and that's the 45 degree flick. This is a very useful flick for mid to high ranks it can generate quite a lot of power if done correctly and it's also very good at clearing over opponents heads next up we're going to have the 90 degree flick which works in pretty much the same way except you turn your car the full 90 degrees so you want to turn the full 90 degrees and then slightly air roll to add more power this flick is best done for a medium range, the closer you are, the more likely you are to hit the crossbar with it. Then the next flick that we're going to go over is the 180 degree backflip flick. So there's a few different variations of this. Generally, you'd want to jump, turn your car 180 degrees, and then backflip. You can do this with power sliding as well, though it is significantly harder to pull off. There is one other version of this flick where you wave dash. This is one of the hardest flicks in the game, in my opinion. You want to jump, air roll slightly either left or right, hold down power slide, and flip into the ground. Once you've landed, you can proceed to backflip with the ball. Like I said, this is a very hard flick to pull off as it does require a lot of precision. As you can see, I can't do it. All right, so the next flick I didn't include in the list of flicks either, and I'm not actually sure what it's called. So in order to do this flick, 
you're going to want to jump, pull back on the analog stick, air roll, left or right, and then back flip. For this flick, I'd recommend having the ball slightly further towards the middle of your car. So the back wheels would be just inside of the indicator circle before you jump. All right, so one other thing that I nearly forgot is the Jazer flick. So the Jazer flick was requested a lot in my last video, but when I actually made my last video, the Jazer flick wasn't released yet. To do the Jazer flick, you're going to want to have air roll left or air roll right bound, and then you're just going to want to backflip whilst holding that. So a normal backflip obviously looks like that. Holding air roll left, it looks like that. So we'll do this with the ball on top of the car. And you have a chaser flick. All right, so that's about it for the more advanced flick tutorials. Now we'll move on to what I would consider advanced flicks. So this includes the musty flick, the breezy flick. All right, so the first one we're going to do here is the musty flick. So the musty flick has a few different variations. It can be done both in the air and on the ground, which makes it quite a versatile flick. The way that it works is you can backflip and it gives you forward momentum. To do this, you want to have your car, imagine this is your car right now is at a 90 degree axis. To do this, you want to have your car to 180 degrees, which is gonna be directly up or directly down. If you do a backflip whilst it's in the front, sort of 180 degrees, Breeze, it will propel you backwards but anything past that margin and it will propel you forward so that's the way that the musty flick works so there are a couple of different variations of this the first is where you tilt your car slightly forwards and then backflip and that's what i call a half rotation musty so the easiest way to do this is to have the ball a little bit further forward than you would for a normal front flip flip and then just be careful of how much you're rotating your car forwards if you rotate it too much you'll bump the ball forwards just like that and if you don't do it enough you won't get any momentum at all and there it is that's the half rotation musty flick the other is the full rotation musty where you do the same thing but you rotate your car a full 360 degrees you can also delay this flick by flicking up quickly on the left thumbstick after you've completed the backflip. And that's the delayed musty. Like I said before, you can also do the musty flick from a variety of different positions on the field. Uh, one of my favorites is after a flip reset or off the ball. So a good setup for that is to roll the ball up this side wall here jump off the wall and backflip. Okay, um, you can also do this another way where you get a flip reset on the ball. And musty. Next up, we're going to do the breezy flick. To do this flick, there are a series of motions that you will need. You will first of all need air roll right or air roll left bound. Once you've got air roll right or air roll left bound, I'm going to be using right for this example, just do the opposite of everything or left. So what you want to do is jump and hold air roll. And when you jump, immediately pull the left analog stick to the bottom left corner. And you should get a motion like that. Once you're at a point where your car it's almost facing upwards. You want to let go of air roll right and move your analog stick to the direct left position. Once you've done that, all you need to do is backflip. So I'll show you what that looks like with the ball on your car. Again, this can be delayed by doing the same thing as last time where you flick the analog stick up and then release. There we go. All right, so next up, we're gonna have two flicks that are, one is a, is a very freestyle flick, which is extremely hard to pull off. Uh, it will take a lot of practice to get used to. Uh, fair warning, I cannot do this flick, but I can show you how it works. 
the dragon flick, which again, very difficult to pull off. The way that I consider the best way to do it is get the flip reset off the ball whilst you're in turtle position, like so. Instead of using A to self-right your, or A or X to self-right your mechanism, you'll want to use RT instead, um, or R2. The reason that I say this is because it will allow you to flip whilst you're midway through flipping, I guess. Um, other than this, the only other useful flick is the, what I think it's called Cabbage Muncher, uh, which you can do in a similar way to a Breezy to start off with. And once you get to a certain point, you'll want to stall under the ball, get a flip reset. Now again, this is a, another flick that I haven't practiced very much. I've seen it done on some like freestyle show matches and stuff. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever tried it and I've managed to get the reset a couple of times. So like, whilst yes, I can imagine it's difficult, once you practice it enough, it will be easy enough. All right, guys, so that's about it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you managed to learn something. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.